okay, now that we're in 2023, uh, I barely saw any firework myself, so I thought, hey, uh, I'll just light up some gumbla. Uh, so this is, I guess, also a part two of my monolite tutorial. Uh, you can check out how I make the monolite in my Zgok video. The middle part is see-through, so uh, it's absolutely a waste if we don't add any lights here. The Zgog is also entirely hollow in the torso, so we can hide a bunch of stuff in it. In this case, we'll hide all the wirings and batteries uh, in the torso, and uh, it'll involve very little actual modification. For skinnier Gundam types, you might want to drill pinholes onto the model and have a battery outside, disguise it as a rock in a diorama, or uh, build it into the action stand, but we don't have to worry about any of that today. Uh, yet another reason to love uh, the Xeon Crabs. I also want to say thank you for uh, helping me hit 500 subscribers. Uh, I really just started this channel without any expectations. I just wanted to share stuff that I learned along the way. And uh, it's really encouraging that so many of you liked uh, what you saw here. Uh, I'll definitely bring you more content in 2023, so definitely look forward to that. Uh, anyways, let's get started. So to start off, you will need an LED. The one I have here is a 0603 LED that is pre-wired. These LEDs are surface mount diodes, meaning that they are supposed to go onto a circuit board uh, without any wires. So the footprint of these uh, is uh, a lot smaller than the traditional 3mm or 5mm LED bulbs. You could buy these as diodes and uh, solder the wires yourself, but that's going to be a lot of delicate work. So since these uh, pre-wired ones exist on Amazon, I'd say uh, just get these. These wires are also coated, meaning that they are insulated by a layer of paint instead of uh, traditional rubber tubing. So they're a lot thinner and uh, easier to hide inside a gumpla. I also have a very tiny lithium polymer battery here. Uh, this is 3.7 volts. Uh, it's one of the smallest lipo batteries that I've been able to find. Uh, it costs $8 on Amazon, but you can get it for like a dollar on Alibaba, uh, as long as you buy a lot of them uh, to make sense of the shipping. You can also find a charger for these batteries. They use this uh, very nice little JST plug so you can plug it into the charging board very easily. The battery discharges at around 3.5 volts tested. Uh, these uh, LEDs can handle up to 3.3 volts. So you can just plug the LED straight into the battery to test, uh, match the positive and negative terminals. Uh, for a short amount of time, it's definitely okay, but if you want to use this without a resistor for prolonged periods of time, uh, do that at your own risk. Anyways, as you can see, the mono eye lights up just fine and it doesn't seem like there's any amount of light bleeding through. I'll be using this 30 ohm uh, resistor. The Amazon listing for these LEDs already have resistors for 5 volt power supplies, but since we are only a bit over the operating voltage for the LEDs, I'm using a very weak resistor to uh, not affect the brightness of the LEDs too much. It would be really annoying if we can't control the LEDs at all, and uh, I don't want to do any destructive modifications to the build, so we'll be using this uh, magnetic switch. Basically, they switch on if you put a magnet on it, and switch off if you take the magnet off. So I can just put a piece of magnet on the back of this Zgok and take it off when I want the lights off. I'll link every component I use in the description section below. Uh, they are by no means the best components to use for this purpose, but just there as a starting point if you want to follow along. I soldered the LEDs on temporarily to test out the circuit. Speaking of soldering, I know it's a bit of a scary subject, but as long as you're careful, uh, it's definitely not that difficult. I would really recommend getting one of these uh, more elegant soldering irons, uh, very easy to use compared to the traditional bulky kind, and uh, soldering irons are very good for adding battle damages to your gunpla, so it wouldn't be a waste uh, just for this job. Anyway, uh, with the concept finalized, let's get to the actual build. First of all, I could probably get away by not gluing anything down, but I want all the lights of the LED to go through the mono eye, so I glued the LED onto the mono eye. Then, with some of this clear Gorilla Glue, I fixed the magnet switch to the back of the Zgok. This way, it's as close to the outside of the armor as possible, so the magnet stays on from the outside. Now we'll get to some actual soldering. 
this resistor is gonna go to the bottom of the switch and we'll plug it directly into the battery's uh, positive end. Onto the LED side, we'll first remove the coating with a blade, scrape until you see the silver wire underneath, and we can solder this to the other end of the magnetic switch. And now to the bottom. Just plug in both the silver lead of the LED and the resistor into the battery and uh, let's test it out with the small magnet. On, off, on, off. It works like a charm. Just shove everything back into the belly and uh, believe it or not, that's it. So that's it for a basic LED tutorial. Obviously this time the ZGOG kit itself made it very easy, but it's also cool that we now have a light up high grade without any uh, external wires, all done within about 15 minutes. Later down the road, I'll definitely demonstrate how to run wiring and uh, add external batteries to a Gundam type. Hope you like this uh, short little technique video and uh, see you guys next time.